So here's the plan for April 13th through the 24th. Step one, begin here. If you're watching this video and it's the first thing you've done, then you're successful. So we're going to watch the Watch Me First video, which is what I call this video, the Watch Me First video, or look through the presentation. You can always come back and reference this later. Uh, this will have the instructions for what to do over the next two weeks. Step two, you're going to meet Hugh, Olive, and Stu. So you're going to watch the Meet Hugh, Olive, and Stu video or read through that presentation. I do recommend watching the video. And you're going to choose one of those three pathways to follow, the Hugh pathway, the Olive pathway, or the Stu pathway. And I'm going to hop over to Classroom right now, and you notice the top section says Start Here and the Watch Me First. That's what you're watching now. That should be how you got here. The Meet Hugh, Olive, and Stu video and presentation I just mentioned is found right there as well. And then when we reference moving on to the, each of the pathways, you're going to see them as you scroll down. The Hue pathway looks really long right now. It's our old matter, energy, and ecosystems pathway. And then you'll see Olive's pathway. And then below Olive's pathway, you'll see Stu's pathway. And below Stu's pathway, you'll see other fun stuff. That can look intimidating, but remember, you're only going to pick one of these pathways. So let's get back to where we were. So after we meet Hugh, Olive, and Stu, and they will give you clues as to which pathway you might want to choose. It's not a mystery. I think you're going to find that you have something in common with either Hugh, Olive, and Stu, and that might be what causes you to pick their pathway. So then you pick that pathway, and you go to that pathway. The ones I just showed you on Classroom. If you're picking Hugh, you go to the Hugh pathway. If you're picking Olive, you scroll down and go to Olive's pathway. If you're picking Stu's pathway, you scroll down to the bottom or near the bottom and go through Stu's pathway. And you sign up on their Google form. So let's head back over. Where is that Google form? It says it's the first thing in their pathway. So if I go up to Hugh and I decide to be in Hugh's group, I'm going to click on sign up for Hugh's group and fill out that form. If I decide I'm going to be in Olive's group, I'll notice that Olive's form is right at the top of her pathway, as is Stu's. So now I'm enrolled in their pathway, and away I go. Let's head back to where we were in the instructions. So that's step three. Step four, simple. We're going to work from top to bottom. I'm going to start at the top of the pathway, and if I signed up in their Google form, I actually did the first thing in that pathway. And I'm going to continue down the pathway doing each activity in order, working top to bottom. Again, we're going to hop out. What might that look like? Well, Stu's pathway happens to be on my screen right now. So I sign up for Stu's group, and my first thing I'm going to do in Stu's pathway is report my completed Amplify lessons. I'll read the instructions, click on that, read through the instructions, do what it says. When I complete that, I'm going to go on to the biology song. There's something for me to learn from. And I'm going to continue down next to the CK12. Each pathway operates the same way, top to bottom. Back to the instructions. Once I've worked from top to bottom, I work through April 24th. If I get stuck on something and can't get help right away, I can move on to the next item until I can get assistance. I'm going to complete as much of the pathway as I can by the end of the day, Friday, April 24th. Remember, we have online class sessions that we can take advantage of during time slots, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, uh, based on period, and that was sent out to you. So if we need to email or chat or Zoom, whatever is necessary to get you the assistance you need, we will do that. Okay. And then after April 24th, we're going to come back the following week, and we're going to join Mr. Krause's and Mrs. Burns' class in the next unit. So hopefully that's clear. Again, if you have any questions, uh, be sure to contact me. And uh, this will be our first tour through our distance learning together. One more thing I forgot to mention. If you finish early, don't forget that there are some great links for other fun stuff if you scroll down to the bottom of the classroom page.